go, here we go. Challenge for the lead is that uh, Ellis knows that it's coming. Aston Martin went to the wall from the outside, but not quite able to do it there. Because uh, Martin and Matthew, sorry, really planted that uh, Talbot something in the right place. There was no real gap in the tank. are involved in a great battle with the, uh, the GP class car, the MGP. Samuels car number 87 and we got down into Palmer the challenge they're side by side inside line is covered by Ellis it's Albert Sumby but what about this by the power on the exit here we go the Aston is rumbling up alongside it's forced to the outside again at Agostini so Ellis is going to just take that quicker more defensive line and he just keeps off that Aston Martin no possibility at that point the left hand kick that's a bit of a funnel through uh, Hamilton and uh, certainly Wilson closed, but then decided that wasn't the right thing to do. Round the right-hander of Hawkins. Oh, and I was about to say that Ellis got defensive there, but he just sort of washed out from the apex a little bit. Up into third, by the way, has gone on pole sitter, the 99 car of Wigginton High. So Matt Smith is down to fourth in that multicolored team yard Camara, with all over the back of him, Dan Birch, the number 30 team yard Tuscan. Great fight further back. I'd already talked about the Chodoshes having uh, Sanders directly behind, but we've now got Matt and Joe Duncan. Then, most of the back And it is, the lead has changed, and it is now Sam Wilson having a nod in the last which are the TVR Tuscans and Historic Outlaws, which are cars that have aero or running force induction. So, our race leader, number 20, Sam Wilson, is leading the GB class. Um, Matthew Ellis, number four. Where has that gone? 